Hello everyone, Larry Sashwell here. And can you believe it? I've been asked to review yet another camera bird feeder. Let's do it. Get it open here. Well, they use a lot of tape, I can tell you that. Well packed and heavy. Smart bird feeder, wireless camera. This one uses the uh, Solium Pro app. I've already read some reviews. I know I've got to uh, charge this battery for about five hours. They can't ship it with the battery fully charged. And it's supposed to rain this afternoon. It's pretty right now, but I we are expecting some rain. It's really well sealed here. So right on top, they give you a quick guide, and wow, this is a thick book. Uh, again, with some uh, a drilling guide, some foam packing. Mounting bracket. Now this is heavy. A Wi Fi antenna. I'm going to need to mount that. This is all metal case. Let me give you a close up of that. And then here is the solar charger with the mounting bracket, everything here. A little knob here, Let's see what that does. Ah, there we go. Well, that's how you fill it. Ah, uh, there's a, I like this. This is a little a hole here and then a little bracket to go in there. Maybe I should stop and read the directions before I break it. Uh, again, they give you a quick start guide. But I know I'm going to have to uh, charge this. So let me see if this is the charger. It is. It's got a charging cord, a couple different options, some more of these knobs that I don't know where they go yet, a uh, Velcro loop, a uh, 32 gigabyte micro CD, and what to do with those quick start? Okay. A QR code to pull up the app. All right, I'm going to charge this. I don't know if I'll get back to it today, but I'll try to get back to it tomorrow morning It's after the battery is fully charged. See you soon. So the quick guide wants me to go to Selenium Pro, and it looks like I already have it, but I haven't used it yet. So I'll open that. It wants me to go through all these notifications. So I'm going to go through the registration process and uh, not show you my password, and I'll be right back. So I'm at the point where I need to turn on the camera. Battery's fully charged. I heard that little thing. All right. I heard the sound. Next step. Would like to find and connect to your devices. I'm going to allow that.
Everything's encrypted. There's no more danger here than you do with a doorbell setup thing. It's looking for my, oh, I guess this is it. Okay. Now I'm going to step this away. So it wants to join there. You may not show this part. I don't know what that is. Connecting. A new device was found. Connection succeeded. All right. Everything succeeded. Super. Set the name for the location. Uh, I'm going to put it in the garden. I have medium strength here, and that's not great because I'm not that far from the server, and the garden is further. We'll have to see if we can put it in the garden. It was, requires an update, so I'm going to update it. While I'm waiting for that to finish, I'll put the SD card in. I don't know if this will support a larger card or not. All right, that's in. Yep, a new card detected. I think you should be. All right, I'm updated iPad's looking like this, this little thing going in and out. Don't know what that means. Oh, there it is. It, it's connecting. Hello. So I don't need to reset it, but I know I need for a fact to put in the waterproof thing here. Well, that was easy. So let's go put it in the garden. The template comes with cutouts there. Well, that works. Tighten those up a little bit. It comes with this Velcro mounting strap, but I think my pole's too small. This is made to go around a tree. And with all the squirrels I have, I know that they're going to be robbing this. I, and the squirrels may still come here, but uh, for right now, I don't think they're going to bother it. It has a little pin right here, and this, and those pins go in here so you can mount it where you want it to go. I want it to face the main part of the garden. It's connecting. Put a full screen here. Yeah, that's the view I had in mind. I've got reception here. So now I need to hook up the solar battery. I'll also connect the perch right here. I think it goes like this. Uh, these old fingers with the arthritis don't, they don't want to work like they used to. I don't think this is that hard to do. It's just that with my arthritis and crooked fingers, that's what's happening. All right, well, this seems to be pretty sturdy on here. Let me get that solar panel up there. So the solar panel mounts with these three little screws they provide. That'll go into there. Screw this on somehow. Yeah, so that goes on there. Easy enough. Kind of self-explanatory, there are directions. 
But we don't need no directions. I'd rather not trip on this wire, which is 10 feet long, by the way. Might as well do some housekeeping while I'm up here. I really like to go up one more step, and I really don't want to. I like that right there. Screw the. Oh, my drill just went in the water. Ah. Now that I have that mounted, I'm going to plug it in. And screw on the water cap here, the water resistant cap. And I think I'll wind the rest of it around the branch up here to get rid of all this 10 feet. Well, let's fill it up. Uh, these two containers only filled it about halfway. I don't think I'll need the uh, ladder the next time I fill this up. And as much food as this holds, I think it'll be a while before I need to fill it again. 